Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So sorry, first things first, sorry if this is a bit all over the place and a bit confusing. I haven't sat down and done this type of recording in a while. So I'm going to go through the big things that we've known so far from this huge leak that happened with Call of Duty 2020. So first thing is, that I'd like to say is the exact same thing is happening now like it did a couple years back with Black Ops 3 when there was this dev game with the code name North Woods that released on the Xbox that we saw and people were able to download it and see all of the internal informations that was inside of it but the only people that could play it were people that had a dev kit to be able to test out who worked at the Treyarch company or Modern Warfare or Call of Duty company to be able to test out the game at their home. So the exact same thing is exact same thing is happening here except this time the code name is called the red door so there's this image on screen now it's a bit blurred so if you want to see it with the full resolution it'll be down in the description down below to the site that i got it from with this game that popped up on the playstation store called the red door people got very interested they went into this website called zero station which has literally everything that can be on playstation everything that's on playstation all privated unreleased stuff and released games from all generations of playstations that have the playstation store so people were able to figure out what this was and be able to see the content ID and the title ID to be able to go into this next site called PS4 Database and they're able to pull out a whole bunch of different information on the game and what the content ID, the patch region and all that. The actual image shows is the full content ID as you can see and in at the very back it says COD 2020 INT Alpha 1. So that's obviously COD 2020 and internal alpha which is pretty dang exciting as you can see at the very bottom the size is definitely 71 gigs it can't be like some smaller in the game tricking people and trying to get people more hyped up it seems like it's an official thing if you go to the site ps4 patches and type in the actual content id you can see that there were three updates that recently came out so the first one of the patches were 48 gigs the second one was 52 gigs and now the final one is 71 gig so it's been definitely getting some patches for quite a bit now after all this came out some data miners also came out with managing to get some code from the game by somehow downloading it on the computer and be able to hack into it getting the code with these code names that we should all be very very familiar with like mp which is multiplayer cp which is campaign WZ, which is now we know is Warzone from Modern Warfare, which we knew that it was going to be coming back into the next uh, Call of Duty 2020. Then ZM, which is Zombies Mode, which is pretty dang exciting because now we know it is in fact coming back. And then this secret mode that nobody's ever seen before, but we obviously know the codenames for, which is WZZM. So this is like a Warzone Zombies Mode which would be pretty dang insane but i don't know how that would be like would it be warzone but with zombies or maybe a zombies mode but it's just a huge map like from the warzone map i don't know but after this all came out with this code charlie intel did manage to say that this information is a bit outdated so everything could have changed but we don't know maybe they're planning on doing like a warzone zombies mode crossover in the future maybe who knows along with all of that coming out the actual logo of the game released they managed to find in the files of the red door the actual logo for the game which is going to be call of duty black ops that is right so no call of duty black ops cold war no cold war no call of duty black ops vietnam no call of duty vietnam None of that, just Call of Duty Black Ops like we saw with Call of Duty Modern Warfare being a remake. We're probably going to get the similar remake to Call of Duty Black Ops. Now in the background of this logo, you can actually see uh, what looks like a confidential CIA folder with a whole bunch of papers on it. You won't be able to see it, but I'll try to explain it to you. In the top left corner behind the Call of Duty Black Ops logo, which I should say is a brand new logo. We've never seen this Black Ops logo before. So it's pretty dang cool looking. It looks like it's been pasted over 
the actual file like those black bars that we see over redacted sections so behind the logo in the top left of the screen is a what looks like a mushroom cloud from a bomb going off then the top right what looks like a road map then the bottom left looks like some more documents with redacted sections and it says confidential on it and a little CIA logo next to it and then the bottom right looks like a satellite image of some place that we could be heading to in the game. Taking a closer look in the bottom left section back to the CIA confidential uh, document, there is this date written down on it and it says 1976 which does in fact match up with the Cold War era so that's pretty dang exciting that we may have some confirmation that it is going to be in the Cold War era. And a few more things before I end off the video. If you ever wanted to know what the Red Door actually stood for, Prestige is he actually talked about it. Literally the first thing in the video that he made, he sang it, paint it black, and in the song, paint it black, these are the exact lyrics that the Rolling Stones say. I see your red door and I want it painted black. So I'm assuming that the it's called the red door because Paint It Black has a uh, deep connection with the Black Ops series. All right, so now for the final thing that I'd like to say is we don't actually know when nothing has came out, nothing has been revealed officially by Treyarch or Call of Duty. So hopefully there's this PlayStation 5 reveal event happening on the 11th, June 11th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, hopefully with how PlayStation and the Call of Duty have been working together with the exclusive content, maybe we'll see them actually reveal the Call of Duty Black Ops. So anyways, everything that was talked about will be linked in the description down below, all the images will be down there as well, so that you can see the images and everything here. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this and want to see more stuff like this in the future, I will be trying to live stream when the PlayStation 5 reveal event does happen or anything else related to Call of Duty or really any game in general, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss whenever I do go live or upload again. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see all of you in the next one.